Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we are going to build or assemble our offset patio umbrella. Let's rock this out. All right, YouTubers outside on the deck now, and the deck is on the west portion of our house. And as the day goes on and the sun makes its way to the west, it gets pretty hot and sunny on this deck. So let's go ahead and open up that box. box is open now let's pull all the parts out and organize it everything is out of the box in an organized manner and I've got the umbrella to the side make sure all your parts are present here is your instruction manual open that up again verify all your parts are present here's the parts list step number one place the part a upper crossbar on part B lower crossbar as shown in that pictorial image Step two, attach the part C rotating base to the crossbar with four part one screws and four part two washers as shown here. And this little cap comes off and four screws, four washers. Reference your four screw holes, rest this part in place where you have access to all screw holes as shown here. Grab a screw with the washer on it. Carefully align the screw inside the thread. Do your absolute best not to cross thread these screws. They should go in extremely easy. Hand tighten them down and then secure it with the Allen wrench. Step three, we're going to place part D in position and secure it with four screws and washers. Make sure you reference your pictorial image. You will notice a little indent here, and that is this portion right here. And that is on the complete opposite side as your foot pedal. So make sure you secure part D properly. Align the screw holes with the holes of part D, and you'll notice foot pedal, and there is the indent, and it comes up at an angle. From here, secure your four screws and washers. Back to the instruction manual, the second part of part three is applying part E as shown here. And again, reference your pictorial image to properly insert and rest this part in place. First thing you will do is carefully remove this part here. Grab the part, carefully align it, and very important step here. See a little tab there? That will have to be properly positioned to slide right into its slot. From here, carefully Press it all the way down, secure it over the pedal. Next, grab that part, and with the hole on the same side as the pedal, shift it back into place, just like that. Step four covers putting that part F back into position. Step five, we need to grab the solar panel and plug it into the top portion of the umbrella. There is a connection point here. Let's go to the top portion of the umbrella. And there's your connection point. Properly align it and secure it. I'll need both hands. After securing the connection point, you've got a double arrow at top. Take a good look at the shape of that top portion. It's got two tabs, one on each side. And align it properly inside the top portion of the umbrella. And once in place, turn it and lock it. That completes step five. On to step six. Firmly insert the umbrella onto the pole and secure it with the part three knob. That is this part right here. Take a good look at the pictorial image and insert that part properly. After sliding the umbrella in place, grab that securing knob and do your best not to cross thread this and you will tighten this down. And in the event that you insert your umbrella and the holes don't line up, chances are you've got this piece upside down. Step seven, go ahead and grab your crank or handle and we are going to insert it in that little connection point there. And from here, we wanna compress the handle and move the arm up, release the handle to lock it in your desired position. And the crank or handle will lock itself in place at the connection point with that pressure ball. After that, go ahead and unvelcro strap and we will use one hand to crank and the other hand to release the lock on the umbrella and slide it up. Now 
All right, YouTubers, the test run went well. And from here, it's pretty top heavy in the event that you extend the umbrella far out, it may tip over. So it is very important to secure that base to whatever surface you have this on. In our case, we are going to open up this umbrella base weight bag and install that. Put the bag out of the box, go ahead and unwrap it. Check that out, it's got a scoop for sand or whatever you wanna put inside this bag. Hmm, change of plans, YouTubers. Not really a fan of this sandbag. So what I'll do is just rest a few bags of sand on the base legs and go buy a brand new one. And the reason I don't like this is because it does not cover all of those base legs. At this point, that is what I'm going to use. Four 50 pound bags of sand. And what I will do is post a link above. Definitely check out that link in the event that you are interested in which one we purchase. In that video, we will also show you how to install it. However, back to this project, step eight. We need to insert the connector under the canopy into the corresponding connector on the part L light and secure it. The umbrella is positioned properly. Come underneath to the lens, turn it counterclockwise until this cap comes off. And there's your connection point. In our case, it is connected. Carefully reinsert the wiring into place, insert the cap and rotate it clockwise until it clicks. After that, find the support beam that has your light switch on it. And that is what ours looks like. It is currently off and let's switch it on. And all the LED lights just came on and I'll turn it off and back on very cool next thing I want to do is make my way around all the beams and remove the packaging make your progress all the packaging is removed be very careful as you're cutting that away you do not want to cut your umbrella back to the instructions and the next thing is just showing you how to operate it and what we haven't covered is the rotating canopy feature which is that foot pedal compress the pedal on the rotating base to rotate the canopy compress the foot pedal and you will notice I can turn it Check that out. Awesome, awesome. Pretty neat feature. So far, YouTubers, I'm pretty happy with the umbrella and the features that it comes with. From here, we're gonna wait until sunsets and we wanna show you what it looks like with the LED lights lit up underneath the umbrella. Before the sun sets and we show you the LED lights, you do have a cover. And again, reference the pictorial image. You have this three part rod and it slides into place inside the little slit and it's very small. It may take you a couple seconds to find. Carefully insert the rod and shift it all the way into place. Took both hands to put the cover on and the main purpose of this rod inside here is so you can grab below and shift it as far up as you can to wrap it around the top portion of the umbrella where the solar panel is. From here, find your zipper and if you can't reach it, they give you this nice little string here and zip it down and secure it. After zipping it up, that is what the cover looks like. And obviously we're not gonna have the cover on all day because our solar panel will not be able to charge. But I did wanna show you what it looked with the cover on it. So from here, we'll take the cover back off 